Who gets to pick the mediator? I sure as the world don't want my X factor to do it. Listen, here's the thing. It really doesn't matter. Mediators are third party neutrals. And usually what happens is one attorney makes a few suggestions, the other attorney reviews those suggestions and picks one. It's really a team project. And I just wanna ease your mind a little bit. The mediator can't make you do anything. They're there to help guide you through the process, not to force you into a settlement. So don't stress too much about who's going to be your mediator. Look, clearly some of them are better than others, just like it literally everything in life. Like some people make your coffee better at Starbucks than others, right? But you still get a coffee at the end of the day. With mediation, the thing is most mediators, if they like have a business doing it, are good enough to get the job done or lawyers wouldn't choose to hire them. So stress not. It's not like if your ex suggested the mediator and your attorney agreed to it, you're now like set up for failure. Like there is going to be some paranoia and fear trying to attack you in this process. And I see it time and time again when it comes to who gets to pick the mediator. Like lay your sword down. Trust me that the lawyers are really wanting to pick someone who given y'all specific specific circumstance can get the job done. Like everybody's in that together. There's no like mediators in your pocket that are going to like screw you over somehow. It's literally just not practically like, think it through. It doesn't make sense that that's what they do. Our lawyers would never hire them and then they wouldn't get to be mediators. So just trust the process. Trust me on this one and you'll save yourself a lot of headache.